Hi, this is Maginoni, and I got a couple reviews for you. We have the Flash number 12 and Flashpoint number 1. Now, this is the one you're going to have to read first because this leads directly into Flashpoint. Now, I, if you saw my review on issue number 11, you know that I have complete utter disgust for this issue, the way this series has been going, and it, it, it from what I read in this issue, it really didn't help matters at all. Um, what, and one, while I didn't like the artwork at the beginning of the flash front, now I'm just thinking that this is, it's not very good at all. Uh, finally, they figure it out that Zoom is the one that's in charge, or is responsible for all this nonsense that's been going on. And uh, Barry Allen from Parallel Universe um, realizes his mistake. And I'm like, I, I still, it still bothers me how, you know, you know, like our universe is the only one that's reasonable, and every other universe, out of the out of the, 50, the 51 other universes out there, they're all completely insane, and it just I just don't understand it. But anyways, um, basically, like I said, this just leads it leads it to the flashpoint. I don't really have much to say other than that, other than Zoom figures out how to to you know destroy you know erase history and change things around and. One minute everything's normal, and the next minute lightning bolt, and then things are changed. Um, if you don't, if you haven't been reading Flash, and then you want to read Flashpoint, don't pick this up. I would say just pass, um, just because all you need to know is things are different. Now, with Flashpoint number one, I'm really torn with this issue. On one hand, you know, like you know, the, and keep in mind, I'm going off of their thing of saying nothing will be the same ever again type thing. Another, nothing, things will not, you know, things are different. It's a new universe. And on that sense, I'm like, great. You know, there's some great things I see in here. But then, you know, the startling revelation of who Batman is, I'm like, okay, great, that was a great idea, but too bad it mean, it's meaningless because when this is done, it Bruce is Batman again. You know, it's like, what's the... I don't... It doesn't hold... A lot of um, uh, the element of danger in the sense of radical things could be different. You know, like even here, you have uh, Barry Allen. You know, he basically thinks he's the Flash, and then suddenly he's like, "Hey, wait a second, my power, my reign," and he falls down the stairs. And then that's when he realizes, "Hey, wait a second, I don't have my powers. What's going on?" You know, he's asking his mom, who's supposed to be dead. You know, who's you know who Superman is? And she's like, who? You know, you know who Batman is? And she goes, sure, I know who Batman is. And then, you know, there's Batman there. But it's, you know, like, everything's changed. And, you know, it's like, even with this Flash part, you know that, okay, that, that the Flash part's going to stay, he, he's going to be Barry Allen. I mean, Barry Allen's going to be the Flash again. So where is the element of risk? You know, granted, maybe, maybe his mom might stay alive this time. He might find a way to save her. But is that really important? Do, is she important enough character to matter? In a way, a character like that's more important dead because of the history of who she is, how what she meant to Barry, and what she means to him dead. And you know, you lose that, you lose that um, that the power of that character when that happens. Um, you also have you know they they give you the the basic. Um, just of uh, apparently what Bat Batman he doesn't like he's not the the normal Batman that we would normally um, love and want to like hug. This is the Batman that likes to kill villains and they you know slip off the roof in the same spot all the time. And that's the spot you know where obviously the Wayne family was shot. Now uh, Cyborg basically gathers a bunch of the heroes and says, look, you know. Uh, Aquaman destroyed this, Wonder Woman destroyed that. Uh, we gotta do something about to stop these two people because um, they're gonna destroy everything. And all these guys are a bunch of wusses and they won't sign up unless Batman signs up. Now granted, some of these guys sign up to do battle, some of them don't. And um, I don't know, I think some of these characters are potentially interesting. Um, a lot of them I just really couldn't care less about, and um, the fact that 
I don't know. It's just like, is it, I guess we, I guess I'll work this. It was a good introduction to of the, who the characters are. At least we get to see them, and um, you get maybe a glimpse of what what they're about. Um, there was a really cool picture with Shazam because Shazam apparently spent some time with Wonder Woman and he didn't appreciate that, which was this. I thought this was really cool, and you can tell like. Wonder Woman, the Amazon, Amazons just ripped his face apart, you know, he's not very happy. Well, anyways, um, you know, Barry Allen, like I said, knows something's wrong, and then he goes, he drives to, um, Gotham to talk to Bruce, and he finds out who the real Batman is now. So, I don't know, like I said, if, you know, if, if he just called this an Elseworld book, I would love it. I would totally love this story so far. But because it's, you know, part of the DC, you know, proper universe, and I know that all of this stuff is just going to be reset back to normal, it just doesn't hold the same excitement for me any longer. I don't know, maybe it's just, I, maybe I just don't get excited over the little things anymore. Uh, maybe there's a bunch of you guys out there who go, oh my god, I can't believe that that's who Batman is, and, you know, you'll, you'll love it, you know, because it's not horrible, but it's... It just doesn't hold the magic. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll have more reviews later. So um, until next.